Which is stronger? Water or fire? What about stones, scissors or paper? Let's leave the answers to philosophers. What we are interested in this time is a more spectacular competition. Hello everyone. Let's find out who will be the winner. Will it be the creepy Megalodon or the mighty Mosasaurus? This is the battle of the titans from the past. Welcome to our channel. And if you're interested in this topic too, let's get started. Mosasaurus, the Lizard of Fear Now, let's get started with the introduction of the fighters. In the blue corner, Mosasaurus is warming up. This is a giant lizard with powerful saw-like teeth that can slice its prey into tiny pieces. By the way, he is not just any ordinary Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus Hoffmani, the largest and most representative of the species. Some of them were up to 17 meters long and weighed up to 27 tons. These are monsters that are amazingly big. These predators fed on sharks, turtles and another species of Mosasaurus belonging to the same family. In fact, Mosasaurus sometimes cannibalized one another. But they didn't feel bad about it. Not a peep of conscience. If anyone were to accuse this behemoth, Mosasaurus's rebuttal would be made with its small, jagged, prismatic, sharp-cut teeth and its large mouth. Yes, Mosasaurus Hoffmani did not have many teeth, 40 at most. How well did it perform though? Its mouth opened very wide so that they could chew on the biggest pieces of meat they could get their hands on. It also moved its lower jaw back and forth like a saw to cut its prey. This effectively stopped the trembling of the prey. This is the proof that Mosasaurus was able to catch your prey larger than itself. What do you think? Does Mosasaurus have a chance to beat his opponent, Megalodon, who weighs twice as much as he does? Who do you think will win? Please write in the comment section. Megalodon, the brutal shark. In the red corner is a huge Megalodon. This shark was 15 meters long and weighed 30 to 35 tons and, depending on the theory, could reach as much as 47 tons. A true heavyweight fighter, considering his weight, he would be the winner of this fight. Megalodon has not been taking the name of the largest predator of all time for granted. Yes, Megalodon was not as large as the still living whale sharks or the ancient reed Leedsichthys. They were, however, very gentle filter feeders. Megalodon, on the other hand, fed on large prey, not planktons. For this reason, Megalodon had 276 sturdy teeth, 18 to 19 centimeters long, growing at an angle in its mouth. Incidentally, Megalodon's teeth are the largest shark teeth in the world. They were so sharp that they could slice through raw meat and easily bite through the rib cages and spines of large prey. These teeth grew in a powerful 2 meter jaw, making it a true killer shark. Which is stronger in a direct confrontation? A direct confrontation between Megalodon and Mosasaurus was unlikely. The problem is not the fact that they were creatures from different eras, i.e. Mosasaurus lived from 8200 to 66 million years ago, with Megalodon living in a much later period, 23 million to 3.6 million years ago. Simply because they were both super predators, that is, animals that reigned at the top of the food chain, being super predators means that they were the best hunters of their time and no one could match them in hunting skill. Both hunted in ambush operations, but we will talk about this a little later. Let's assume for the moment that they met by chance at sea. Let's make it clear who is stronger, that's what they decided to do. And perhaps the winner of this battle would be the lighter Mosasaurus. Lightness would work to their advantage in a fight. For speed of movement, agility and endurance, Mosasaurus would win. Why is that? The reason is simple, Megalodon was a shark. Sharks breathe through their gills. This means that despite its huge size, 
Megalodon had a limited area of organs to take oxygen into its body. Whale sharks, which were heavier than Megalodon, could gain even more weight. The reason is that they live on planktons and, therefore, do not need to move as quickly. Megalodon, on the other hand, is a predator. Thus, they must be able to move agilely, at least for short periods of time. And Megalodon's less than active metabolism would be the best it could do. Megalodon could not have the metabolism necessary for a face-to-face -face confrontation with Mosasaurus. So, there would be little chance for Megalodon to win in a head-to-head -head matchup where both fighters were awaiting each other. Call 1-0 in favour of Mosasaurus. Ambush Strategy This battle may be more reasonable, because both would probably have hunted by ambush. Mosasaurus would wait for its intended prey to swim close to the surface of the water to get some fresh air or to be warmed by the sun's rays. When the time came, Mosasaurus would pounce on its prey quickly, catch it firmly, and begin to slice and dice it with its powerful upper and lower jaws, which had a bite force of around 24 tons, using them like saws. Sea turtles, another species of Mosasaurus, and a 20 meter long Plesiosauria could not escape the jaws of Mosasaurus. But of course, they would try. Fossils of Mosasaurus jaws have been found that show marks of healing after large prey broke or cracked them when they struggled. Megalodon would also use ambush for hunting, but with a more varied strategy. It would be able to jump to its prey with its agile movements and hold it in the mouth. When hunting, they would injure vital organs or chew up bones in order to render their prey unable to move, and then they would eat slowly. Some say that Megalodon would not dislike the flesh of dead animals either, but this would not apply to Mosasaurus which, frankly, had a weak sense of smell. Megalodon's bite would be weaker than that of Mosasaurus, only 11 tons, but once the prey were caught, it would not be able to escape. Who would win in an ambush attack then? We think it would have been a draw in that case. Megalodon, like Mosasaurus, could gain a strategic advantage by making its prey immobile with its first bite. Then all that remained would be to leisurely eat the prey animal. But in such a case, another but would follow. It was rare for either Mosasaurus or Megalodon to actually encounter an opponent that large. Researchers believe that Megalodon hunted small whales between 2.5 and 7 meters in length, as well as dolphins and sea turtles. This size is considerably smaller than Mosasaurus. Could Megalodon cope with a large lizard like Mosasaurus, which is outside the scope of Megalodon's operational assumptions? On the contrary, Mosasaurus hunted prey larger than itself. However, it never confronted a monster weighing as much as 35 tons. How could he open his mouth wide enough to firmly grab a Megalodon? Would the Megalodon appear in the area where Mosasaurs were hunting in the first place? Because Megalodon would not need to swim to near the surface of the ocean in order to breathe. This shark could always live in deep water, meaning it could stay safe. Call 2 to 1 in favour of Mosasaurus. What does evolution tell us? Suppose there were Mosasaurus and Megalodon at the same time and in the same body of water. Which species would have survived? One way to look at it is that Mosasaurus could move faster. Even by the most conservative estimates, it could move at a speed of about 20 km per hour. This calculation does not take into account the superiorly shaped fins. If we take that into account, the speed of Mosasaurus should be much faster. Megalodon, on the other hand, was not so fast. Even at its best estimate, it was about 18 km per hour which means that Mosasaurus was faster than Megalodon. Even if chased, you could always swim away if you are faster than your opponent. Another way to look at it is that Mosasaurus needs air, so if there were a lot of ambush attacks, Megalodon would have the advantage. It is also known that this shark had a variety of hunting methods. This is a sign that it could adapt well to various conditions, including the ecology of its prey. Just as adapting well to the animal ecology of his time, Megalodon would have adapted better to the existence of Mosasaurus. So we give points to the Megalodon. Then we end up with a tie, 2-2. Two to two. By the way, have you ever heard the rumour that Megalodon is not extinct and still drifts the bottom of the deep sea? 
If you have heard such a rumor, please let us know in the comment section. It's time to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. Of course, aside from a fake documentary program, there is no hard evidence for this legend. However, the possibility is always there. Whenever we get substantive scientific evidence of the existence of this giant shark, we will be sure to bring it up. Subscribe to this channel and join our courses to learn about the latest discoveries and interesting happenings in science. We are already working on our next exciting video. With that, we bid you a fond farewell. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.